feeling like the bigger person. I'm the bigger person. I'm a boss. Drake, I'm going to give you an opportunity to apologize. First and foremost, you got to admit, confess you got your nose, your nose reduction. And confess you got a BBL. And I understand. I know what it's like having those flaps on your stomach and that sweat being under there. You ain't want to do that. You wanted to just a gym, nigga. You, you drizzy, you BBL, nigga. You could go get it done. And you did it. Just confess. Confess. I know you're not going to respond. And this pace is boring me. It's moving too slow. When I came in the game, you had to move fast. Drop a freestyle, freestyle Fridays. Now this social media, I can't do it. You got your minions. What's the other white boy name? 1090. He looked like a wet little whale flapping. Shut up. Get mind your business, peon. Man, apologize. White boy, white boy, BBL Drizzy, I got a question. I saw you post that you got more money than Ricky Rose. And let's assume you did. Well, your best friend, Birdman, his house went into foreclosure five years ago. You done watched that man struggle them five years and ain't get that man a mansion. Because if you got more money than Rose, what's another 50 million, white boy? White boy, it's one for 40 on Indian Creek. It's one for 50 on Star Island. You got 48 hours, white boy. If you got Ricky Rose money, ain't none of my niggas winning foreclosure. Come on, white boy. I'm finna bust a bottle. White boy, don't do stunner like that. Come on, man. What happened to that? 48 hours. The countdown has begun. And that old that you got, they gave it to you free. That's a 1978. Be safe on that, Drizzy. Be safe on that plane. That old man. God is great. Hey, no, this is really funny because I'm going to tell y'all, it's like battling against nerds. It's like sitting in a class and you watching all the nerds put together their best science project to present to the class. Man, y'all can have that. Nigga, your nose fake. Your stomach fake. You don't write raps. Your biggest homies in foreclosure. Come on, man. Go buy all them niggas that's living with each other a big mansion and put... The, the, the BBL Drizzy logo on the gates, man. Feed them niggas, man. Come on, man. Do that sh And y'all need to pray for Drake and tell him, park that old plane. It's a 1978. The cargo jet people gave it to him free for promo. And I ain't hating, but be safe, my nigga. If something was to happen to you and I couldn't tell you this, be safe. And anybody getting on it, be safe, man. Wear your seat belts and the, make sure the oxygen things in there because that just for luggage. It wasn't for human beings. What, this is a perfect opportunity for y'all to see the type of nigga white boy he is. Soon as that pressure on white boy, he gonna go post stunner, stunner in that $20 jogging suit. No, the man needs some paper. And make him say, I got your back. He don't wanna say that to that mark. Nigga ain't got that mark back. That mark ain't fed him none. But since you done watched him struggle and gave him, nigga, show the world you go buy him. Post him when you go buy him a mother. $40 million mansion, white boy. Huh? Huh? Soon as Rose on you, you call your mama, then I'm going to post Birdman and kiss him on TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, nah, that's what white boys do. Show your real niggas when you go buy them that big mansion. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you post a nigga when you need him. Ooh. Drake actually took the time to respond when Rick Ross had put it in his story of somebody auctioning off one of his homes and everything like that and said, look how I talk to this turkey. You should have just asked for another feature. Imagine you having 88 million to spend on the crib. Your ish be steals like you got it from a police auction. Your Star Island house on a silver of cheesecake. Your lot is 40,000 square feet. My crib, 40,000 square feet, Leonard. And you put a wrap on your timeshare jet. That ish is coming off when it's the other people turn to fly. You bet brash worker. How many cases you got to move before you got a check finally? Ish probably took a lifetime to see some real bread. You're Brett, son. Now you're not Red Rose anymore. And he also posted Rick Ross crib and said, Rick, you sandwiched in with his own brand because the vacant land not yours. This is the Miami starter pack. You living in a content creator crib. And this right now is turning into some rich nigga beef and everything like that of like no money and stuff at this point. And let's be 1,000. They both got millions in the conversation. These are just rich niggas taking shots at entertaining at this point, as Ross did say mo. Ooh, you post a nigga when you need him. Ooh. I need you to play that 
What happened to that crib? What happened to that crib? Come on, Drizzy. Come on, white boy. Come on. Come on, white boy. Soon as you get in that trouble, ooh, I got to go stand next to the niggas. Ooh, we just watched this on for a real time. See, see, white boy, I'm a different kind of nigga. I'm a different kind of nigga. Rosé, nigga, I'm rich, nigga. I don't need you for a remix, white boy. I don't need you. All them other niggas want to tell you what I'm telling you. I'm saying it for all the niggas who ain't in my position. What happened to that crib? Come on. Nah, we ain't getting slimy yet. We just warming up. White boy want it. If you want it, nigga, beef. Nah, ain't nothing wrong with talking. Drake, you got to keep it at one line. That shit you're doing got to take 20 minutes. One line or don't DM me no don't more. do what I do when I talk and he don't talk. He'll take a picture and post because he got ghost writers for his captions. He got Listen to me, he got the people sitting around. What's Rick gonna do next? Let's go, let's go, come up with it. Come on, BBL Drizzy, just pick your phone up and talk to the people. You okay? We know you may be shallow. We know, but everything fine. Everything's gonna be okay. It's therapeutic, it's therapeutic. Release, release what's inside of you. It's called Earth Strong. I got one more question for BBL Drizzy. One more question. How long you gonna stay on that plane? It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's a 1978 cargo plane wasn't built for humans. It's dangerous. Imagine a white boy with the soul plane. God! Imagine a white boy with the Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in as we are now in day, I think, what, four between Rick Ross and Drake going directly at each other ever since. Drake jumped out there and dropped his diss track push-ups where he gave Ross a couple lines. Ross is not taking the day off with the responses, the insults, and the disrespect on the internet. As Drake has been responding, punching back, throwing his jabs out there as well after taking shots at him on the song and everything like that. Nah, Ross did put out champagne moments and stuff and ended up putting that up to streaming services. And now they are just completely taking shots at each other on some ranking. As Ross referred to, this is like me being in class and everything like that. And we just dissing each other at this point. Now, people want to break down what's real, what's fact, who got more money or anything of that nature, that conversation. Go right ahead. I'm not really interested in it. I'm really waiting on another song, and I thought one of them would come with another song by now at this point. Ross does got champagne moments up, but I'm really here for the music. I like the entertainment, but at this point, y'all going all the way in. We're going to keep the people updated on everything. They are here for this, and I am here for the entertainment as well, but I do want it to be music, though, bro. We got to get the music out there as well, and it seems that I don't think they'll be able to probably be back rocking again and be cool again and probably will never get another Ross and Drake song again because it seems like those lines of disrespect have most definitely been crossed to take it way, way too far as he taking shots at everybody around Drake, taking shots at his whole existence and things of that nature. And then Drake coming back at him more on the joking side. But, hey, we'll see what happened with this right here, bro. Ross is most definitely going for the gusto and basically using this as an opportunity to promote his brands in between these shots that he throw. That nigga there is going in, in promoting his car show, promoting his businesses and everything like that, man. And I'm like, bro, I guess we can sit up here and laugh at it. The people want it. It's entertaining for sure either way. And I think they both kind of understand the game. And Ross is going to be that nigga, as y'all heard me say. He's going to continue to nitpick give you problems and keep nagging you if he sees that he is getting up under your skin he has taken that marketing strategy of hey i will beef with a nigga on my instagram story and when i do that i'm going to use it as a marketing opportunity for everything that i got going on car shows wing stops bel-air and everything of that nature but 
We here, man. I'm ready to get the more uh rap, more rap going. We here for it. I want to hear the music, bro. If we going to do this, we got to rap too. So waiting to see if Kendrick going to respond. He might say, I'll respond whenever I feel like it later on. Either way, as long as everybody dropping quality music this year, ain't nobody getting hurt. Ain't nobody going to jail. I'm with all the entertainment. Tell me what y'all think. More videos, all that 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.